Hi, everyone. Okay, I think we are probably all ready to swatch these 10 new mild liners. So these are the new mild liners for the Japanese market. There is a difference between what's going on with new mild liners in the U.S. market, and so I'll explain that after we swatch and talk about the Japanese highlighters, since those are the ones we sell. But basically we've got 10 new colors that are available in five color sets or individually. So if there are just a couple colors you want to try out, you can, like we've always done, you can purchase them individually as well as in the packs. Now, Zebra does seem to be moving away from this style of pack. I wouldn't call it hard plastic, but it's like a... Um, a soft hard plastic <laughs> and they're going in favor of these packages that open like this and it's a you know even I would consider this a softer pack now I do like this packaging but I have to say not that it's super common but these packages will sometimes crack when they're being transported in the winter when it's super cold. So I wonder if that's one of the reasons they went away from them and, may and maybe it has to do with, you know, how much plastic is being used. But I did want to let you know that they are moving away from this type of packaging that they've used for years in favor of this softer plastic packaging. And of course, if you get them individually, you don't have to get any plastic packaging. So I'm going to swatch them on just some nice white Kokuyo paper. So the nice white bright paper, that'll give you a real good example of how it's going to lay on white. And then I thought they were really pretty swatched in my Hobonichi Weeks because that Tomoe River paper that the Weeks has is, has, is you know, more cream. So they end up being even more kind of like muted and natural looking to me. But anyway, let's get started on the swatching before I talk too much. So first we're going to swatch the Mild Baby Pink. Now this is part of the Gentle Mild Colors, or I guess they say the Mild Gentle Colors. So that's what they're calling these, and they're meant to be even more gentle to the eye, I think, than the original pastel even, maybe? Let me show you here how they look in the weeks. And actually, I'm going to zoom in a little for this. But I want to show you how it looks in the weeks, just so you can see it's even more kind of natural and subdued, I feel like, with that cream background, so really pretty. So th this is the Mild Honey Orange, and then we've got the Mild Sherbet Yellow. I wonder if I can move this so that my hand isn't over the nice swatch over here, so you can kind of see. And then we've got the Mild Soda Blue. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty like baby blue, really. And then this is a Mild Lilac. So those are your five new Gentle Mild colors. Now, they also have the five new natural colors. And the first one is this Mild Dusty Pink. And then we'll do the mild cream next. Now this one is very light, really quite pretty. And then there's the mild beige. And we've got, I'm so happy to finally have a mild olive and a mild cool gray. So 
So there are those color differences for you there. Now, let me explain because I got a lot of Instagram questions about this. So Zebra US has released five new mild liner colors. And what they've done is four from the natural mild series. Now the US is calling theirs neutrals. And so they've got the mild cream, mild beige, mild olive and mild cool gray. They're not doing the mild dusty pink. They are doing a mild copper. And so that mild copper is not available in this new 10 color. So it's kind of weird. It's like Japan has 10 new colors. Four of them are going to be avail are available in the US plus one other outlier. I don't quite get why they did this. My guess is that, you know, the US market felt like copper was gonna be more popular here and you know the Japanese market must feel like this dusty pink color is really popular there right now and I have seen it coming out in a lot of like barrel colors and stuff so I'm guessing it just has to do with the trends I do not have a mild copper since I just have the Japanese ones so I don't have that to swatch for you but to me it looks like a brown with some orange. It's, you know, it's like browner than the vermilion, but it's oranger than the brown. So, and it's, you know, m most close probably to the mild beige, but it's more orange. And maybe that's why they... Maybe that's why the Japanese market did dusty pink. Maybe they thought that would be like two, those two would be too similar. I don't know. I really wish I understood sometimes why they make the decisions they do. But in any case, I think, you know, so these are the original 25. And I do think it would be fun if you are a mild liner collector to just play around with, you know, swatching like all of the orange shades together and stuff like that, because there's just so many, you know, now there are 35 shades in the Japanese lineup. So there are just so many. I think it'll be fun for you to kind of do some comparisons and stuff. So anyway, yeah. As I said, they're available in the five color sets and in individuals. Just recently launched on our shop. I do believe we got plenty, and so I'm hoping they don't just like sell out immediately, but you never know. And yeah, please let me know if you have any questions as always, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.